Today what you will be working on is a very important skill called keyboarding. Keyboarding means the ability to type something without looking, without looking at the keys on the keyboard. So what, what actually happens is your fingers learn where each key is on the keyboard. The, the muscles in your fingers have what we call muscle memory and it's what makes it possible if you're playing a video game to remember where all the keys are or all the buttons are on your controller without looking down at the controller all the time and the same thing applies to typing on a keyboard you can learn where each key is so you don't even have to think about it the same way that you don't actually always think about every shape you're making when you're writing letters it just kind of flows naturally out of your fingers and that's what we want to get to with your typing. One example of how I use my keyboarding skills all the time is in emailing people, teachers and Mrs. Brooks and Mrs. Urban when I'm trying to get things done for Conley. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you an example of an email I might write to Mrs. Brooks and you can watch how quickly I can type it and I'm not even looking at the keys so you're going to be able to see both my fingers and how they're moving as well as how quickly the, t the words are coming up. And I'm going to keep my eyes right on the camera that I'm looking at right now. So I might say, Dear Mrs. Brooks, I cannot attend class on Tuesday because I need to attend a technology meeting at the school district office. And see how I can type it just about as fast as I can say it. Would you be able to visit my students on Tuesday? I'm sure they would love to have you in their class. Please let me know. Thanks, Mr. Schubert. And I send emails all the time, and the ability to type an email that quickly really makes it possible for me to get everything done that I need to get done. Now another t example of how you might use typing where it's really important that you know how to type without looking at the keys is when you're typing up something that you've already written down or someone else has written down. So some, sometimes someone will give you something that's been written down and you want to turn it into a typed copy and it would take a whole lot of time to be looking at the paper and then looking at the keys and looking at the paper and looking at the keys but when you know how to type without looking at the keys you can just look at the paper the entire time and you can type it literally as fast as you can read it to learn to type we're going to be using a program called dance mat typing and there's already a link to it on the student portal page of the Conley website so you all should know how to get to those links but I'm going to show you right here under the student portal you're going to go down to online resources and you'll see dance mat typing online typing games and it's really a fun way to learn to type so when you click on that link the dance mat typing program is going to open up and we're all going to start at level one when you click level one then you can choose a stage and we're also going to choose stage one but when you're trying to get back later, if you want to come back to this and move on, you can select on the left-hand side here which stage you left off at. So some of you might get to stage 2 or stage 3 today, and the next time you come, you'll want to remember that that's where you left off. But we're going to start with stage 1, which is called the home row. And when you start it, it's going to load, and then you're going to click start. And this character is going to talk to you and he's going to tell you what you need to do. Now he's going to say first you need to learn the home row keys which are these right here A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L and the semicolon and he's going to show you where to put your fingers. It's very important that you put your fingers where he's showing you to put them. Okay, so I'm going to be going around and making sure that you have your fingers where they need to be. And then you are just going to 
type the letters as they come up on the screen. So he wants you to type an F right now, and he wants you to use this finger, your left index finger. So you're going to press the F. Right pointing finger on the J. Type a J. And then he's going to tell you to type a J. And he's going to go on from there until you have learned all the keys on the keyboard. And this is going to be an ongoing process. And we may not spend too much time on it in the technology class because we have so many exciting things we want to cover. But what we will do is you can get to this from home or you can get to it if you're in the computer class and after school. So uh, you, you should have lots of opportunities to do this. And remember, if you're at home and you want to do it, make sure that you uh, ask your parents to help you get to it and make sure it's okay with them for you to do it.